Hey guys, it's Egonzi Telmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to invite some of you who haven't subscribed to the channel to please do so because that's really going to help me in improving this amazing community. And today I'm super excited because I got ray tracing working. We were having some issues in the previous video where I couldn't get it to work and I think I found out what it was. So let's jump into Unity and I'll show you what I did. Thank you guys. All right guys, so let me show you that now I have the scene working and I also want to tell you that if you didn't watch the previous video, make sure that you watch it because I walk you through getting the Unity, the custom build for Unity ray tracing going. So this is the URL where you'll get it from and you in fact have to go to GitHub and then download the code and basically follow the instructions. So like I said on the previous video, I go in depth one thing that I wanna that I wanna emphasize: make sure that you have this version or greater. Otherwise, the the thing is not gonna work. And that's basically what happened to me. I had Windows Home and and it didn't run. It it worked, but it didn't look right. It wasn't doing ray tracing. So make sure that you have this requirement. And of course, you have to have the NVIDIA RTX. All right. So make sure you watch the previous video for that. So now that I have that and everything is clean, I'm not getting any errors. You can see that as I'm moving and I'm resizing the window, things are getting regenerated, it's rendering everything. I can see the shadows that look amazing. I can also see that the glass looks really, really good. I also have the statistic, statistics open. And by having that open, I can show you the frames per second. I can show you some stats. I'm also running an RTX 2080. I have a i7 processor and also 16 gigs of RAM. So I'll put the statistics as well of my computer and the specs so that you can see what I'm running from. So the other thing that I want to show you, I want to show you all the, you know, how we can make some changes on the scene, how we can navigate through the scene and give you an overall look of how this looks when I run it. So if I hit play, you can see that things are starting to, to look a lot better. And in fact, like the this unity scene has a, has a, controller associated with it so that I can navigate. So if I do up arrow, I can get closer. One thing that I want to show you is I want to show you the, the reflections on the table. So if I uncheck ray trace reflections, you can see that we're going to start to get some reflections. In fact, if I get, let me get a little closer and you can see that the reflections on the table look really good. The glass looks amazing and, and also the materials that we have, even the plants are looking they look really, really good. Let me go around and show you some of the other features. So you can see the ambient occlusion looks amazing. I'm also seeing, I really like how the glass looks. So let me turn this back on. You can see that how that is changing. You can also change and remove the occlusion, the ray trace ambient occlusion. You can see that that is making some changes. Also some of the ambient occlusion filtering, reflection I show you. Let me go further back and I can show you. So as I toggle this, you can see some, some of the changes on the, the one that really stands out to me is the, the reflection. So if I get close to, we get closer to the, to the lamp and I'll just rotate. So you can kind of see that we're getting some reflection from here, from all angles. Also from the HD, HD, I think it's called HDRI. Let me go into it and, and make sure that I know what the component is. If I go into my hierarchy and look at the post-processing, so let me just make this smaller so that I can see what we're looking at. And go back to, oh, I think they put it on the rendering settings. So you can look at the HDRI, which is basically the sky that we're seeing around. So if I uncheck this, we can see, you know, that we're getting we're getting the other the other area uh, render. So we can see we can look around, and and I'm really impressed with the look and feel of this scene. So let me just go back down and get closer. Let's look at some of the features that we have on the floor. So if I go ahead and check ray tracing, and we just wait until. So you can see that. You know, we, we're getting some reflections on the floor. I can also check this one back on. And we get a little bit a little bit different look. And let me remove the ambient occlusion. 
So that's also making changes on the scene. And let me go up. I'm gonna let's go up a little bit more. The pitch down is very sensitive, so we're still running at 64 frames per second, and and everything you know everything looks great and it's performing really well. I can also go here and so Unity has these rendering settings, which is part of the HDRP that I show you on some of my other videos. So you can also look at, you know, there's ambient occlusion already added to it from the HDRP, not from ray tracing, from HDRP itself. And also the, let's see, screen reflections. You can now see how those ones are changing in here. Oops, let me go back, there we go. You can see how that is making changes to the changes to the scene. I can also increment the, you know, the power that ambient, ambient has in this scene. So if I wanted to make it really strong, I can make it really strong. I can change the thickness modifier. And I can make all these changes in real time and and everything is performing well. So we're still at 63, 62, and this is running in the editor, which is really impressive. So if I go back to post-processing, we can also modify, you know, the bloom if we wanted to modify the bloom in this scene. We can also do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I think they had they had a really good really good change. Also change the exposure. See how that is changing the entire scene. So I think with a scene like this, you have a lot of flexibility. Looks like they're using the tone mapping. So if I remove these, and I show you how to use some of those post processing. So by now, if you watch the previous video, you can probably see a lot of you know the benefits of doing something like this. I also have the Panini projection where we can go in and you know if I wanted to, maybe this was a camera that was on top. You can now see how that is changing. So I'm not going to change anything else on this one. And then we can do, we can probably do one more. Let's do depth of field and see if we, let's go ahead and select the manual. And we can see that we can change. Let me just start the, select the start and there we go. So we got a little bit, a little bit of focus and there we go. So you can see how I can change those ones in real time. So let's go ahead and remove it because I don't need it. All right, and lastly is the ray tracing. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'll do another video where we go through some of these settings in more, you know, in more depth. But I really wanted to show you that these things, you know, it's it looks great and, and it works really well with ray tracing. So, and also how I could toggle some of these changes. Some of these settings that are basically tied into the ray tracing environment. So if I change, if I remove one of these, it's basically removing the ambient occlusion from the ray tracing environment. So this is really good. It looks really good. I really like how the shadows also look like. And I can't stop looking at the battles because the battles just, just really stand out to me. And also some of the lamps. I think those ones look cool. And if I remove the ray trace reflections, we're getting a lot, lot more glassy look on the table. Let's get closer to the let's get closer to the plant so that we can see how those ones look. It just looks really cool. We can go back and look around. There we go. So I think I'm gonna call it good and, and I just wanted to say thank you guys. All right guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time and I hope you had a really good time as much as I did. Also be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing tutorials and also great forums with a great community. And don't forget to check me out in Patreon where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes. Also the source code that I'm doing during the videos, those are also posted in Patreon. So again, thank you very much guys.